What's going on, people, places, and things? This is your YouTube channel, Poke Arena, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went to the Valley Windworks and beat down some galactic grunts and showed Mars that she's nothing but a small little planet. And now we are going to go to Route 205 and then through the forest to get to Ecrotique City to hopefully get another badge in the next episode. But before we do all that, let's just do a little team recap. We got a new member on the team, and his name is Reverb. Reverb is a Trimeco with the mild nature, which is actually honestly not that bad. And we have Levitate as the ability, and we have a Trash move set. But our next Pokemon, we got the God Drizzy. Uh, Drizzy again has Calm Nature with Cloud Nine ability, and Water Pulse, Confusion, Disable, and Scratch. So now that we've gone over our team recap, let's just head over to Route 205. Do, 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 do. And I'm not going to be doing any honey encounters, and we already did get a water encounter in this area in the last episode. Um, it was a skitty, and we murked it by accident. But uh, we're going to just try to get to turn of force today, get some other encounters, which I'm looking forward to great. Alright, let's see if we can uh, astonish down this Dratini with Reverb. I think we can do it. Oh, okay, we're good. I thought that's what we were gonna do a lot more damage. But, finally, Reverb learned, like, an actual move. Um, kinda wanna go heal, but, uh, whatever. We'll just, we'll just head over. Let's see what we would have gotten this grass. Geodude, that would have been pretty nasty, I'm not gonna lie. It is unfortunate that we got a Skitty that ended up passing out, but I wanted to get, you know, as many team members as I could. What does this hike have to say? He's giving me the eyes. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Ga ga ga. Here goes. Watch him have like a Caterpie or something. Maybe, uh, uh actually has three Pokemon, but. He, he leads off with Porygon Z, which is not too shabby. Um, we're just gonna Confusion. It's not very effective, so let's just move into Drizzy. And okay, no thank you, Porygon Z. Reverb and Drizzy level up. We're just gonna Merc this Cinderquill with a Water Pulse. And Merc this Torkoal too. We have a lot of Fire types. Hey. We got the Wise Glasses. I wonder what that does, actually. If I can press the right buttons, it seems like a common thing in this Let's Play. Boost the power of special moves. I'm gonna give that to... Ah, uh, you know what? Wait, what does Blue Scarf do? Oh, it's for contests. I kind of want to... I, you know what? I'm gonna take that item back and give that to Drizzy because... I just want to be doing as much damage as we can with Drizzy, because Drizzy is the god of this playthrough. He has saved us one too many times, and I don't know what I would do without him. But honestly, Reverb is a pretty cool member of the team as well, I'm not gonna lie. Reverb is pretty swell. He is not disappointed yet, so hopefully he won't. Oh, imagine if this was our first encounter, what is it gonna be? Oh, it's another Shaman. We're just gonna destroy the Shaman with some confusions. Get Reverb up to higher level as best as we can. Oh my goodness, a Regirock. Drizzy, please just destroy this for me. Like, honestly, Drizzy, he, he has done nothing but be the best Pokemon in this Let's Play so far. I, I'm, I'm honestly astonished with how well he has served us. I didn't think he would be this great when we first picked him up in the first route. Uh, we got a PP Max, which is nice. That's, uh, that's gonna be very useful in this game. And then let's see, oh, let's see what this trainer has for us. So, it's a long way. Electric. Alrighty. Um, we're just gonna confusion it and ooh. This could be bad. We're gonna switch into Drizzy. I don't think it has any electric attacks. <gasps> ooh, it does, but thankfully we are a special tank. 
Reverb grows up to level and Drizzy grows up to level. So that is good. So now we're going to heal up our Pokemon because that was scary. Um, we'll heal up Reverb just a little bit. And then move on to this next hiker. I've lost my way here of all places. There's a cloister. The, the female organ Pokemon. That's what we like to call it, even though that was a male cloister. Honestly, Trimeco's attacks are pretty baller. Like, special attack, I should say. Um, it's in 44, which is... I'm actually gonna check to see... Yeah, it's it's not as high as Drizzy, but... You know, Reverb could be worse. Reverb could be worse. And we're gonna get ourselves into another battle with this trainer. Hiya, there's no holding back anything. What What's even your name? Tia. Tia is actually what I would call my aunt from Argentina, so that's kind of nifty. You know, Pachirisu, the fact that this Pokemon has been inside a championship, oh Jesus, it just died. Uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna switch to Drizzy. And then we're gonna disable. Because that is not what we wanna see. And imagine if we just lost Drizzy there. That would have been terrible. And like I'm saying, like, jeez, this Pachirisu is kind of a tank. I would have been so disappointed if we lost our any of our Pokemon. Got the power band. Nifty. Oh, jeez, I didn't want to get into another encounter, but we did. Well, I don't know, should I play a little? Listen, I think you're a little too underaged for me. Rich boy pansy. <laughs> what a rich boy pansy. But this Torchic shouldn't give us any issues. Uh, we're just going to confusion it to death. And thank goodness it didn't focus energy and that Ember and knock out our Pokemon, because that would just be a sad... I think we can get healed here. Uh, let's see. Yes, let's heal. Perfect. Awesome. And before we go into the Eternal Forest, I just want to specify that we are going to get our encounter here after we go through with our guide. Um, because it, it's going to be double battles and I just don't want to have to deal with picking one, so we're just going to have the encounter after hey, we don't have to have a guide with us. So on to the Eternal Forest, and bam, here she is. So she's just going to say that, you know, I need help, there's Team Black League people here, I can't get there through my own, so we're just going to wazi on through, get as many items as we can, got an upgrade, interesting, but this should be fun, I'm, I'm curious to see what Pokemon she has, and we don't have cut, so we're gonna have hey, to Jordan. go through, and now we're gonna find out what Pokemon she does have, and oh my goodness, I would have loved to have one of these two Pokemon. We better a slack off, really? Listen, all I'm saying is, we better get something this amazing. Sorry for the cut there, I had someone call me on my phone, um... But like I was saying, I don't know if you've heard me before, but if we better get something this amazing in our encounter after it, because my goodness, like a Magneton can evolve into Magnezone and then having a Ninetales would just be epic. But onto our first double battle. They're not even Team Galactic Grunts, but you know, it is what it is. So, all right, we got a Snow Run and a Skarmory. Let's, uh, let's target the Snow Run, just destroy it. And, uh, oh my lord, I think we're gonna switch into Drizzy for this one. This is not the sickest of things. And why can we gotten, like, something cool to be our partner in this thing? We have a, a freaking slack on. I'm gonna water pulse the Skarmory and destroy it with a crit. And, yeah. Uh, we miss because of that sand attack. Jeez, Lipitung is beefy. It's a beefy tongue. That tongue can 
look up some hits. We get the white flute, which is awesome. Um, and then that, oh, it's just the the cloud through the the tree kind of looked weird. But I guess we can do our question of the day before we kind of or while we jump into this battle. So question of the day: What is your favorite forest to go through in Pokemon, and why? Because I think there's a lot of different cool forests in the Pokemon games. And I think my favorite forest to go through is the classic Viridian Forest. It just brings back so many memories as a kid playing Leaf Green and um, even or the original Red and Blue. That that forest is just iconic with the music. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. So yeah, I think that's my favorite. But we're just gonna destroy this frost last. Throw reverb up to level 20. And we're actually we're we're getting there with our team right now. I mean it, it this is a better this is the best state we've had our team, which is sad to say. It is unfortunate we lost our starter Pokemon, but a skip loom and a gabite? Oh my lord. Oh, if we don't get something dope with our encounter, I'm going to cry. I will just cry. And poor Slackoth almost got knocked out. What I really like about this, uh... This, uh, encounter with... I don't even know her name. But the, basically the god through the forest is that she heals us after every every battle which is wicked nice we don't have to worry about healing before in hand and not having items so oh my goodness there's just so many cool pokemon in this like i would literally take anything i do hope we learn some better moves with reverb but for the time being confusion is great and that bite was terrifying but since Reverb is... Actually, no. I do want Reverb on par with... Uh, what's... What's his name, Drizzy? We're just gonna run from this, though. Nothing I really want to fight right now, but... I want to be battling all the trainers in here to get the most amount of experience. But... Oh my god, it's God. Uh... Confusion, I guess? Oh my lord, we are you bringing out Drizzy for the big guns? So you think you're a god, Arceus? Well, meet Drizzy. Because Drizzy is the champion of this place. Reverb wants to learn takedown? We're just not going to learn that. Because why? Why learn a move that's a physical attack when basically uh, <laughs> we have a, an attack? attack stat that is nothing compared to our special attack. Um, this is kind of terrifying though. Thank goodness that Slowbro got knocked out because that was just, that could have just went down south real fast. Um, we're going to fight these bug trainers. And we've got a little, little Vigoroth looks like off. It's your big brother. It's your big brother. Well, your big brother, you know, He's about to be dead. Yep, he is, he is actually dead. I hope you're not crying. Because, yeah, I would probably cry if my big brother de was dead. If I had a big brother. Reverb, getting those levels, though. This, this forest is showing us some nice level experience. Not gonna lie. I think we're on par or past par for the the gym, honestly, which is pretty fire, not gonna lie. Two Magnetons, we're just gonna skip over those, we don't really need to waste our time with that. And we get the Bubble Mail, we're gonna be sending some mail off. Alright, if I do get a Sandshrew though, I won't even be upset. All these Pokemon we've seen so far are freaking fantastic. I am curious to see what we do get, but it's nice to kind of see all these dope mons before we do it. And Reverb with that does gain to level 24, so I think we're going to switch Jersey back to the front. 
give him a little bit of love. Uh, not the summary, excuse me. Just because, you know, in case of emergencies, we can have... I think we already fought them. Yeah, we did. Is there anything, any items I'm missing over here? No. Um... Two, so look at these, look at these slow queens. And we are almost out of here. I'm very excited to get our first encounter in this forest, but... You know, it's, we're gonna have to see. If, dude, if we get a Gabite... I would be the happiest person in the entire world. I'm not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. But with that, we are out of here with this girl. See you later, Cheryl. That's her name. Ooh, we get the Soothe Bell, which is really cool. Alright, since Cheryl is off our team, it is now time to get the first encounter of the area. And we get... How did I know we were going to get a Sandshrew? Like, I literally felt it in my bones that Sandshrew was going to be our first encounter. <sighs> All I'm going to say is get in the ball. Yup! The Mouse Pokemon. You know what? I already have a name for the Sandshrew. Since it's a Mouse Pokemon, we're going to name her Mini. Mini Little Mouse. Mini little mouse. We didn't even have to do a cut to think of a name. And we're still on Route 205, which is just not what we want to see. We want to see more new encounters in different areas. But since we reached the end of the forest, I am going to end the episode episode off here. But next time, we will enter uh, Ecrotique City and take on the second gym and get our second gym badge. So make sure to tune in, subscribe, like the video, answer the question of the day, and with that, stay safe, and peace out my nouns.